Hi guys, guys, and I'm Wiley Pals. Welcome back to Budget with Ira. In today's video, we're going to be checking in for week three of January's budget. Now, if you're new here, in my check-ins, I have a look at all of my spending, my groceries, my household, petrol, all the spending that's come out of my account this week, along with all of my cash spending as well. I reconcile them against my budget and make sure I'm on track. Towards the end of the video, we play a couple of savings challenges to make sure that saving money is fun. So if that sounds like something you'd like to watch, please consider subscribing. And if you have already subscribed, you know you're a bestie and I love you. In in today's video we're going to be using my stunning budget planner this is available on my etsy store and it is a beaut we are using the january stickers and i love them spoiler alert i do run out of no spend stickers so today we are showing you these have been on my store for a really, really long time these are stunning no spend stickers in the rainbow colorway you can get them all in just red but i'm trying to make sure that i cut down on time on the intro so without further ado let's take a look at this stunning budget planner bestie Okay, besties, here we are. We are in the January spread and we're going to be checking in for my expenses for the 15th to the 21st of January. We're using my expense tracker stickers and we're also using that extra sheet of no spend stickers. So let's get cracking. On the 15th, I went shopping to Aldi. Uh, we had a fair bit budgeted and we spent £61.08. And I spent some spending money in the co-op. It was £4.20. On the Monday, I had to go into my nearest town to make a business expense. And while I was there, I bought myself some stuff from Poundland. So I only spent £2. And the internet bill came out early. It was £27.99 as expected. On the Wednesday, I bought myself some junk from the co-op while I was on a post office run. And I also bought myself some vapes from the post office. They're in a two for tenner deal and I see them as a treat. They're not my normal vape. So they're not coming out of the, like the vape fund. So they were a tenner. Then I had a no spend day on a Wednesday. On the Thursday, my car insurance came out and it was 27 pounds and nine. And I also bought more vape because I really enjoyed it, but it was a waste of money. Uh, that was a post office that was 5.99 and that's one. Then I had a no spend day on the Friday. And then using these, these are slightly larger, but I still love them. I had a no spend day on the Saturday. I'm gonna try and just use the green ones so that I don't disrupt the flow, but I suppose the pink ones would work as well. I love these. Okay, that is all of my expenses done. So what I wanna do is move over two pages and I wanna check in for week three. Okay, now that we're here, I'm gonna start by filling in everything that I know. Okay, so for spending last week, we stuffed £22 and I ended up spending £25.9. So that's more than the 22 but I did have £4.7 that I was rolling over. So that has left me with 98 pence. For groceries, we stuffed £64 and we spent £61.8, so slightly under, and that means that we've got £4.47 to roll over for the next week. For petrol, we stuffed £20, we didn't roll anything over, uh, and then we didn't spend anything. So there's £20 to roll over, but I will show you what I'm doing with that money in a sec. For household, we only had £1.86, so we stuffed nothing because it's already rolled over and there's not really anything to spend, so we spent zero and that leaves us with £1.86 to roll over, which I might actually just stuff into the groceries money if we have any household spends, because obviously it's not going to cover it. And then for unbudgeted, we always stuff zero. I spent nothing as unbudgeted, so I'm still left with that 67.21 overspend for last week, well, this month actually. So last week we stuffed 106 and we spent 86.17 and we're rolling over 27.31 but uh, we're not gonna roll over this 20 pounds. So let's go ahead and deal with that 20 pound now. Besties, we're back at it again. So we've got this 100 envelope challenge and do you know what? Rather than rolling over 20 pound for petrol when all I'm really doing is going to the post office. I suppose I did go to Southampton this week, but um, my petrol isn't that low. So not really anything to worry about. So I've got 20 pounds. So I'm gonna do the 20 pound envelope. Obviously I would like to have done more, but I don't have enough. This envelope is basically the same £20 envelope as last 
the last one that I had. So if you missed my sort of um, consolidation that I put out last Friday, make sure you check that out. So where does this go? It's literally one of the first envelopes, geez Louise. Right, I'm gonna color this in. This is how it looks now. So we're still making a pretty good progress, Bestie. While we're here, I thought it'd be a good idea to do the fourth envelope in my 26 envelope challenge. Next week, we'll be using February's money, I guess, and we'll be starting the next four. So it might not be five, six, seven, eight. It might be like a mixture. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but yeah, that's done. So let's just sort this out. Okay, so now we are in the Paycheck Bill Tracker. What I do here is I like to make sure that I'm still on track with all of my bills and things like that. So there's only one bill to take account of and that's the car insurance that did come out, but it wasn't 27, 24, it's 27 pounds and nine. And internet did come out, but I'm just waiting for the tenor for the other internet that I've got. So that should come out next week, I believe, and then I'll start factoring in for it. So yeah, that's all done. What I wanna do now is go ahead and cash stuff for next week, bestie. Okay, we are here ready to cash stuff. And you'll probably notice that in these, there are more pound coins than we had last week. And that is because we unstuffed my 100 envelope challenge. So there's a lot of pound coins, but I'm sure they will get distributed nicely this week. So let's move over and start with groceries. So let's start with groceries. And what I should have left in these envelopes is exactly what I have for one week because we're just about to move in and cash stuff for February. So uh, we have 20, 40, 60, 70. So that's 70 ready to stuff into groceries. Before we do that, let's go play the wildcard challenge. The wildcard challenge is available on my Etsy store and when you buy it, you get a stunning suit of cards. This is in the budget with Ira Rainbow and what I'm doing is I'm pulling a card every single week and whatever it says, I'm gonna save and that's going towards a holiday for myself and Jake at Christmas this year. So I use Ace as a one, I go all the way up to 10. Jack is a 20, Queen is a 30, King is a 40. So those three can be brutal and I'm hoping for a relatively low number this week because I wanna get rid of some change. So let's go ahead and pull a card. My my cards are at the back. Last week I pulled a six, so I'm kind of hoping for something relatively small. So what I do is I shuffle and I split. I am still not good at shuffling, Bestie, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> right, let's split this down the middle. Oh, this one's speaking to me. What is it? Oh, so this week we are saving 30 pounds. Okay, that's not fun. Right, okay. Well, look, it has to happen eventually. Let's say 30. So 30 is going into the wildcard challenge. So sorry to the pound coins, but they're all in there. So we're gonna give ourselves 40 pounds for this week. And um, that should be enough, hopefully. Like, to be fair, we have like, skipped a lot of weeks and stuff like that. But yeah, 40 is what it is, but we've already got four pounds. So 44 to do a bit of grocery shopping won't be too bad. Moving over, next we're going to do petrol, and petrol is here. So petrol, I give myself £30, and we do a savings challenge as well. So let me introduce you to the pastel dice challenges available on my Etsy store. When you buy this challenge, you get a stunning pastel 10-sided dice. I have a pink one, but there's loads of different colours available. And what I'm doing is every week I'm rolling this, and I take the money from my petrol money and I save it towards paying the down payment on my car so that I own it a bit quicker. But anyway, let's roll this and see what we get. Can you see that? It's a seven. So seven, I believe. Yes, cool, fantastic. I'm gonna put this in and take three pounds out. That'll be easier. And I'm gonna take three pound coins so this envelope isn't brutalized any further. Okay, so I've got 23 pounds for next week. That is good. So uh, what I have been saying is because I've rolled so many numbers with this, let me show you. So I've rolled like all the tens, all the nines, all the fives. If I get a 10 or a nine and a five, I can re-roll. Or if, let's say for instance, I got a 10 again, nothing's stopping me from crossing off an eight and a two. But we rolled a seven today, which is just as good. So we'll just do a seven. 
Moving over, we're in our final category and that is spending. So let me move everything about. So spending, I have 30 pounds again, but I don't stuff that yet. I do a saving challenge. Oh, these are so thick, these envelopes. Let me introduce you to the 1050 challenges available on my Etsy store. When you buy this challenge, you get a 20 sided dice. And what I'm doing is every week I'm rolling this money and whatever it lands on, I am going to save. When we look at the back, if you can actually see it, I've rolled all the 20s, all the 15s, all the 10s and all the 9s. So if I get those, uh, I'll make up my mind of what I'm going to do if I want to re-roll or whatever, depending on what the number is. But I kind of want a bit of spending money this week. So I'm hoping it's not a 20 or a... Have I done the 19s? No, I haven't. Let's just see what we get. It's a two again. I think I had a two last week. I mean, not mad at it. So last week I rolled a two, but I actually gave it eight. Like, that was my own fault. So let's go five, six, seven, eight. Let me get pound coins actually, because that makes it easier on the envelope. Six, seven, eight. Cool, so I got 27 pounds for this week, which, do you know what? I'm not mad at that. There's plenty of money for me. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I'm cool with losing a bit of money. Sometimes I just really feel like I need it. And this is a week where I just need a bit of spending money. Okay, cool. We are done at Bessie's. Hi guys, guys, and I'm Bottom House. Thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for watching these check-ins. An extra special thank you to all the patrons who support me, because without you, none of this is happening, really, bestie. Uh, it just makes my life much more special. So thank you for being a part of that, and thank you for supporting me. If you would like to become a patron, please take a look at the link in the description. You will not regret it bestie so i am going to stop talking and if you want to hear me talking and jabbering on make sure you check in on the vlog which is on every sunday at 6 p.m gmt until then bestie i would like you to have a wonderful day have a wonderful week and have a wonderful budget always remember don't trust ira and i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching Bye bye